the 1980s was all about money, glamour and excess. And it's that decade which inspired the gloriously over-the-top BMW 8 Series. But before you start sneering that you don't want reminding of that dreadfully go-getting greedy decade, and you don't want anything to do with the BMW 8 Series, thank you very much, well, hang on a minute. It's my job to find you classics that are great value for money, or classics that don't know they even are one, yet. And that's where the 8 Series comes in. You see, the 8 Series is one of the most undervalued GT cars on the road. When it was launched, it was BMW's technological showcase. It was hugely expensive and designed to take on the might of Porsche and Mercedes. But it never really took off. Its rivals were too well established and too good. And as the recession bit, demand for cars like these just leached away. It was the wrong car at the wrong time. But who cares about that? Now they change hands for just five to ten thousand pounds. And in many ways, it's like driving a little Bentley, a very cheap one. And take a look at what you get. A two-door, pillarless coupe with four seats that's refreshingly clear of outrageous spoilers and stripes. Instead, it's all muscular, svelte and masculine. And at the front, with its pop-up headlights and body colour grille, it even hints at the BMW M1, one of the greatest BMWs ever. And then you look inside. This car is dripping with equipment. Take a look at this. Leather everywhere. Electrically adjustable steering column. Six-speed gearbox. Automatic stability control. Sport and comfort settings for the suspension and for the throttle response. Automatic rear sun blind. Onboard computer. Dual zone climate control air conditioning. Electrically adjustable seats. And the kitchen sink was a no-cost option. Feels classy, looks classy, and it's very cheap. Not sure if I mentioned that. And out on the road, the 8 Series starts to make a really compelling case for itself. It's very, very comfortable. The driving position is perfect, it's multi-adjustable. And you get the feeling that this car was designed to cross continents in a single day. And when you get out the other end, you'll feel as fresh as a daisy. With a car like this, you're not getting sports car standards of handling. It was designed a bit like a Jaguar XJS to cover large areas of ground quickly and in comfort. Now, the 8 Series has something of a dual personality. If you want to just waft along or if the weather's bad and you, you don't want to press on, you can keep things in the comfort setting. But press the sport setting and all the dampers become firmer and the throttle becomes much more responsive. So it unleashes a whole new echelon of performance and handling that allows you to have a hell of a lot of fun. So while it's not super nimble into corners, it's very composed. Now I'll let you into a secret. This is no ordinary 850. This is the 850 CSI, the nearest that BMW got to making an M8. The motorsport department breathed on the engine and suspension, bored it out to 5.6 litres and gave it 380 horsepower. This slashed over a second from the 0 to 60 time and if you took the restrictor off, this car would carry on going past 180 miles an hour. It's a monster. If you fancy an 8 Series, there are plenty of privately owned cars with low mileages around. They can take high miles in every respect, but at such good value, you may as well spend more and get a sub-100,000 mile car. Avoid lurid colours like purple, and the best compromise is probably the 840 model. Rust is not usually a problem, but do check head gaskets for leaks and suspension bushes. Servicing is pricey, but depreciation at this level is low. On this programme, we do seem to spend an incredible amount of time talking about boots. But you know what it's like. You buy a car with a small boot and you say, well, it doesn't matter, I'll be all right. And two weeks later, you're tearing your hair out. Well, look at the boot on this thing. It's enormous. You could get enough suitcases in there to go away for a month. And if you wanted to go skiing, there's a ski hatch and they've even provided an integral plastic bag to stop the skis from damaging your boot. Oh, those Germans, they think of everything. Yeah? And finally, here's that V12 engine, so clean and tidy. It looks like it's hewn from solid rock. The 80s give us Margaret Thatcher, the Paul Tax, Howard's Way and Power Ballads. But I'm giving it a thumbs up because it also inspired the BMW 8 Series. And this is a car, a high-tech bruiser, that deserves a place on your drive. 
It may not be a classic yet, but its day will come. So strike now while the iron is very, very hot.